Welcome back to Lost Odyssey. In the last episode, Cook and Mac got on a train to the Aurora. And then, um, Jansen, uh, Queen Ming, and Seth got on a train, got on a royal, ro royal train with the King of Goza and Tolton. And Kaiman. Sarah are going to head on another train to try to rescue Cook and Mac. Trains those kids got on is pretty far ahead. Don't know if we can catch up to it. It's okay. This train's faster with, with few cars attached. It'll be risky, but we'll catch them going at full speed. Let's go. All right. the battle on the train. Well, that's how they keep the balance and stuff. Anyway, I think you want to use magic with these things. I don't know, what's that physical attack? I don't know. Is he in the front row? I think the dark frequency. Oh, it's later we'll have to use magic up there. We'll get around. Yeah. Oh, I don't have any elemental weaknesses in whatever you want. to a pulse fight, but it's not yet. We're trying to get on board! We gotta stop them! That's yeah, so why I gave Kime a uh, level 4 black magic. That's why I did to do that, by the way. Anyway. Yeah, and that magic energy thing will just kill us. We literally can't die here. Well, it stores your MP in there. Yeah, that's an MP.
Oh, now we don't have any DMT, because I killed the thing, but... Yeah, it's not just pretty weak. I think the boss is the next fight, I think. What is that? Well, you guys probably couldn't hear me anyway. I don't even know why I was talking there. I had the volume up, so... You probably couldn't even hear me talk, but anyway. I was saying basically, uh, I gave Kaim level two, level four black magic. And I said some other things as well. But, oh well, I forgot that I had the volume up, so you couldn't hear me, really. My microphone's pretty low, like, sound, you know, because I use Shure SM7B. It's pretty low, even if I have it. I can't really go any, f you know, like higher volume with it because it'll cause clipping. I don't want that to happen, obviously. Uh, but anyway, we're about to take on a boss here. Okay. <laughs> 
much time. That reminds me. We mounted a large-scale operation against piracy the other day. Piracy? Yes. Our local waters have been ravaged by pirates, taking advantage of our recent military weakness following the catastrophe at the Highlands. So I dispatched our remaining forces to mop them up and communicate far and wide that Ura will not be defeated. If your forces can defeat pirates, they should be sufficient for most any requirement. You are too kind. I am particularly proud that we succeeded in capturing the most feared pirate on the seas, Sed. Sed? What is it, Seth? He's alive. My son. Huh? Oh, that's... Uh, Seth's son. Hey! Don't say anything about this now. We don't want any trouble. You don't have to tell me twice. Now, I am aware that you've selected Kent as the site for the handover of Grand Staff information. <laughs> I wonder, though, about the security detail. Will they be sufficient? I would gladly dispatch Ulrin forces to take part as well. Their morale is much higher following their successes against the pirates. I am certain their presence would be helpful. Your concern is appreciated, Your Majesty. The forces already dispatched there, however, are from Goetz's main battle force, the pride of our military. No unwanted visitors will even get close to Kent. May I rest assured that the information will be in good hands once it has been delivered? You may indeed. Every effort will be made, if it means Goetz may also share in this magnificent magic energy. Pardon me for interrupting. I'm afraid I don't fully understand what your majesties are speaking of. Ah, yes, forgive me. We are speaking of the construction of a second Grand Staff. I still don't understand. We <coughs> immortals asked that Grand Staff be destroyed. Kaim told us that the purpose of this meeting was to avert war. Indeed. War has been averted. King Tilton and I have come to an agreement, thanks to your majesty's own words. We thank Kaim for introducing it to us. With the information provided by King Tilton, Goetze will build its own grand staff and reap the benefits of the tremendous magic energy that it offers. Our two countries will thus be equal in power. Neither country will have an advantage over the other. Look at this. Love will protect against all. This alliance springs from my love for my people and my efforts to protect them. I trust you will appreciate the significance. This is hypocrisy. We both know what Kaim and Sarah would think if they were to hear you speak this way. I am aware of the contradiction. Regardless, if it will prevent war and bloodshed, I will choose this path and the equivocation that accompanies it. Wait a minute. You're not getting it. This isn't what we were talking about. We told you Grand Staff was dangerous. We never said you should make more of them. What are, what are you thinking? You can't do this. You're playing right into Gongora's hands.
Alright, we're now in control of Gungora. He's the new main character going forward for now. We'll be playing as him throughout the rest of the game. Nah, I'm kidding. We begin your speech, Master Gungora. for the support of each and every citizen of Ura. For it is you who have made this possible. And while Grand Staff will guarantee further progress for our country, this progress will be born not of magic, but through your collective efforts! <laughs> Unfortunately, this momentous occasion is also marred by tragedy. It is my sad duty to inform you that King Tolton, who has tirelessly devoted himself to you, his people, passed away yesterday. His Majesty met with the King of Kotza to discuss an alliance prior to upcoming military maneuvers. His Majesty was never able to establish that alliance. Kotza informed us that His Majesty fell suddenly ill and perished with terrible swiftness. However, our sources in Kotza have determined that is a lie. In fact, His Excellency was clearly the target of a treacherous assassination! Before he departed for Goltza, King Tolton may have foreseen his impending death. Therefore, he entrusted me with full, unconditional authority to act in his stead. <sighs> Such a tragedy that this has come to pass. His Majesty gave his all to his people and his country. My fellow Urans, pray give this powerless one your help and support! Thank you. Thank you. His Majesty was all too aware that war is a foolish choice, as am I. However, to simply concede to whatever terms Gotsa may dictate would constitute a national outrage. Now! Let us take the opportunity afforded us by the completion of Grand Staff to bring glory to our fallen king's memory! Let us demonstrate Ura's might before Godzilla!
Yeah, the master manipulator. Angora. Sorcerers, each a master, as my dark acolytes. As of this moment, you are clandestine operatives reporting directly to the royal house. You will be called upon to serve me faithfully as I take command. Therefore, I ask you all, are you prepared to die in my service for the royal house of Umra? Excellent. Now, we proceed to the tests. I will attack you with magic, and you shall not guard yourself in any way. Shall not resist. You must bear my attack in silence. Alright. Shyness. Flick slight damage and bind on all enemies. Gora's ultimate black magic breaks. Stone, all stonus, all flares, all windus, all quius, and all ground us. Yeah, so this, he's got infinite MP too. Um, let's do breaks. So this is um, basically just showca showcasing um. Gora's power, essentially. Each time you cast a spell, you'll eliminate one opponent. This is so evil. Alright, last spell. You don't have to do it. You can do whatever spell you want, but I just wanted to show them all off. <laughs> and try to protect himself a barricade. That's not going to work too well. Now, 
Listen well. You have no souls. No identities. All that matters is your devotion to me and your superior mastery of magic. Open your eyes, my acolytes, and hear my orders. These are your targets. The Gutsan army, presently in Kent. The castle of Gutsan, the royal carriage, 40 kilometers west of the castle, and another train, 100 kilometers east of the castle. Are we then to attack the immortals, my lord? Yes. But they cannot die. I have all the time. The world. our fleet is. How oh, certainly is. magic energy. Far more powerful than anything I have ever encountered. It's the Wall Highlands all over again! Whoa, 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 stop it! Wait, just, hey, you don't think this is Grand Staff's gonna be, huh? Kagora! So Kaim was right. Oh, no. 
choice makes any uh. difference now. King Tolton! Uh. What is the meaning of this? I don't know. King Tolton? I tell you, I don't know! You cannot hesitate now. Implement the contingency plan immediately! Yes, sir, your majesty! Contingency plan? That is the dumb... How would that work, uh, actually? Reprisal! It's the only response to a question such as this. No! That's the worst thing you could do! As a fellow head of state, you too should understand that military action is sometimes the best option for defending one's people. That's ridiculous! You have no idea what you're dealing with! Okay, who's driving this thing? Contacting God! What has happened? What is he doing? Flee, Your Majesty! Must escape! Where do you think you're going? King Tolton! Seth! That was supposed to be me! Let's hurry! So it ends, Kaim. Sarah, forgive me. Truth has been overcome by fact and reality. Don't play here for my sake. If we're doomed, I'd rather we freeze together. Maybe even sealed with a kiss. Oh, really? Well, you know, everybody, you know, we need sense of humor. <laughs> if we're gonna die, might as well die laughing. <laughs> sense of purpose can stand before that. <laughs> that was Gangora? Damn him. <laughs> 